all it is. How long is it going to take for these U.S. manufacturers to get up to snuff with the capabilities of DJI? Right. And, and that that's really what we're talking about here. And, and Arkansas taking the four year path is at least a step in the right direction from what happened in Florida, which is tragic. And we're all on the same page that 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 is not the way to do this. Four years is a pretty long time in this game. You know, I, I have confidence in our entrepreneurs. I have confidence in our, you know, venture capital world that we can fund amazing people and amazing companies to do this. But this conversation, I, I like to break it down into four categories. There's the labor force. Americans are incredibly expensive to employ to do this work. The Chinese have an influx of cheap, highly educated labor. Thousands of people on assembly lines combined with robotics. We can't win there. It's going to take us. And, and this, this is why they're on the commerce blacklist. They violate human rights. And that's, that's the impetus of that ban. Best product in the world. None of us are even having this conversation if DJI didn't exist. But that's the reality. Their labor force, we're not going to touch. Number two is going to be supply chain. I would have just been in this deeper than I'd ever want to go again. When you start talking about autopilots, flight controllers, ESCs, radios, it is a short list of companies that we can go after. Like I'm talking a very, very short list with high price points, none of which touches OcuSync, not even close. So we're behind the eight ball on supply chain, but the CHIPS Act is going to help. But I completely agree with Chris. The sensor part of this is a real challenge. And Randall and I were in the middle of a negotiation, you know, with DJI and, and their thermal cores. And the reality is in China, they have thermal sensors that are double the capability and half the price. Um, so supply chain is a massive problem that's going to take 5, 10, 15, 20 years. You don't just spin up Fab Labs. They're 10 billion bucks a pop, whatever the heck the number is. They take a long time to get ready to go. This is going to take time. So maybe four years is the right number. Maybe five years is the right number. I don't, I don't think we really know.